Welcome, Deronda here with Foods 101. Today, I'm showing you how to make tiramisu. It's this fabulous dessert that will be perfect for Valentine's Day or for any day of the year as far as that goes. The ingredients you're gonna need for this tiramisu is going to be six ounces of lady fingers. This is about 12 in a package, so you're gonna need 24. You're gonna need a pound of mascarpone cheese, or mascarpone cheese, it's an Italian cheese. I have two eight ounce containers here. One half cup of strongly brewed coffee, and if you'd like to use an espresso, that would be fabulous too. Two thirds of a cup of milk. One and one fourth cup of heavy whipping cream. Three fourths of a cup of white sugar. One tablespoon of pure vanilla extract. Two tablespoons of dark rum. This is the kind of rum that I use I think it makes this tiramisu fabulous. Or if you'd like to use Bailey's Irish Cream, that would be fine. I've got a tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder here and six egg yolks we're gonna need. Let's get started on making the custard part of this tiramisu first. I've been separating my egg yolks from my egg whites. And my favorite way to do this is you just tap it on the side of a bowl till you've got a little crack there in your egg. Split it open and just continue separating back and forth until your yolk has separated from your egg white. Now you're going to put it into a saucepan or here I've got a skillet and then another way we can do this is just to break it open and let the egg whites run between your fingers and then put your yolk over here. Add your sugar to your egg yolks and we're going to whisk this together until your sugars Blend it in beautifully with those lovely colored egg yolks. Okay, make sure you get it all whisked in. Next, we're going to add the milk, just a little bit at a time until we get this beautifully incorporated. Okay, and continue doing this until you've added all your milk. Just add a little bit at a time. I've got my egg yolks, my sugar, and my milk whisk in very nicely. Now this goes over to the oven top over medium heat. And what you're gonna do is you're going to continue stirring until our three ingredient mixture here comes to a bubble. And this may take three to four minutes, but you're gonna continue stirring. As you can see, it's beginning to bubble, and we're gonna let this cook for an additional one minute. Use your timer. One minute's up, then we're gonna transfer this mixture into a bowl. Okay, we're gonna add your custard right into here. Gonna get it all out using a spatula. Cover with plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator for one hour so it can cool down completely. We're gonna add our heavy whipping cream along with our vanilla extract and I'm just gonna eyeball it here. We're gonna beat this until we have nice peaks. All right, this took about two minutes, but you see how we got these peaks in here? How they're just coming right up that's what you're looking for. I've got my very cold custard out of the refrigerator and now I'm going to be adding that mascarpone or mascarpone cheese in here and we're going to stir this together until it's super well blended. Add the second container of our mascarpone cheese and we're just going to mix this until it's well blended. When the mascarpone cheese is whipped in with the custard, this is what it's going to look like. Now, back with that whipping cream with vanilla, we're going to add about a fourth of it in here, and we're just going to fold this in. So that means we're going to incorporate this well by just folding it in until you get all that whipped cream worked in with your, your custard. Okay, and then you're gonna add another fourth of it. Once you get your custard and your whipping cream blended, 
you're not going to see any white streaks or any pale yellow streaks in there. You're going to want it looking just like this. Let's prepare our tiramisu. I can't wait. In a shallow pie dish or pie pan, uh, or if you have a bowl, that'd be good too. We're going to add the coffee along with that rum. Give it a lovely little stirring. You're going to use a 9 by 9 inch pan. Open one of our packages of lady fingers. And you're quickly going to dip them. One, two. That fast. And add a single layer here into your dessert dish. That should fit right in there like that. Let's see if we turn it over. Okay, we can turn it over. Because if you leave your lady fingers soaking here in your coffee and your rum, they're going to get awfully, awfully soggy. And that is one thing we definitely want to avoid in this dessert. Now that you've got your first layer of lady fingers here in your dessert dish, we're going to add half of our tiramisu custard and we're going to spread it from side to side really kind of push it down in there so you'll have no air pockets and oh my goodness this is going to be so delicious and everyone absolutely loves this dessert and if you're a coffee lover woo, or a rum lover you're in for a really super big treat if you've never had tiramisu before and now that our first layer of lady fingers are lying this way we're going to take the next layer and i'm going to put it this way and you just want to really push it down into your custard instead of using 24 lady fingers i ended up using 28 so now we're just gonna gently push these down into the custard as far as they'll go, add the last layer of this custard from corner to corner. Absolutely beautiful. Make sure you cover your lady fingers there. Okay, you may want to just push it down in there. And that looks absolutely perfect. Mm-hmm. We're going to cover the tiramisu with plastic wrap. Cover it very tightly. Make sure no air is getting in there. And then this goes in the refrigerator overnight or up to eight hours. I've had my tiramisu sitting in the refrigerator for about 24 hours. And I'm going to remove the plastic from it. Oh my goodness, it smells so delicious. I'm going to cut into it. You just want to use a nice, sharp, serrated knife. That's what I've got here with the little teeth on it. Let's see if we can get one of these corner pieces out. First piece is always a challenge to get out. I'll just go around the edges like this. And let's scoop it up and see what we've got here. Oh my goodness. Looky there. You can see those beautiful lady fingers. Oh yeah. Now we're going to put it on a plate. And remember that cocoa powder. I put it in a tiny little sieve. And I just sprinkle it over the top of each slice. That way you get a little bit of that cocoa powder in the bottom of your plate. Mm, now we got to dig in and give it a try. Look how gorgeous and beautiful that is. Oh yeah, tiramisu. Mmm, absolutely mm, delicious. I got a burst of that fresh cocoa powder. Then the lady fingers have just turned in to this delicious silkiness. Just a hint of coffee and that rum, just a hint of it. But you have this creamy custard and this whipping cream. And you're thinking, I'm just begging for.
for more and more. It's absolutely fantastic. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. What can I say? Look how beautiful that is. For Valentine's Day, for any special occasion, or any day of the year as far as that goes. Give me thumbs up on this tiramisu. Leave me a comment. Share the video. And thanks a million for watching. Happy Valentine's Day. And I'll catch you next time.